everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tina and today we are reviewing the cutest palettes. Makeup Revolution came out with these teddy bear palettes. As you can see, I already opened mine because it was too cute. I just like, oh my gosh. When I saw this, I was like, oh, I had to have it. Me and Makeup Revolution sort of have a spotty history. I either love it or I don't love it at all. And I'm really hoping it's going to be, and I love it, because how adorable is he? Oh. My name is Steven. Me and Pinky the Bear, which I don't believe is his actual name. Just made that up on the fly. <gasps> Look at all those shades in there. Top shades, bottom shades, like I think this up here is a bronzer and a highlight, but I'm not positive. There's shades everywhere in this baby. And these shirts, I don't know how to make it work. Some of these swatches that are just amazing. What I don't love is, is this tiny little format they've got going on with everything like in these itty bitty pans. They swatch beautifully. Look at that. Oh, that one was patchy as hell. Look at those greens. I mean, oh, so pretty. That's this beautiful shade up here. And then this is, I think, a contour shade. It's a gorgeous contour shade. Maybe that's the highlight, this white. Holy cow. Me and Mr. Pinky the Bear are going to have ourselves a grand old time. As always, my eyelids are primed. And we're just gonna jump into this cute little buddy. Like, he is my best friend. And before you think like, oh my gosh, I want that, but I hate those colors. They have like, I think three other ones in totally different kinds of colors. So if you're not into brights, you have options. This mirror in here is totally pointless. They had to just save me the time and not bother putting that in there. So I'm just using that base shade is in fact a base shade, putting that all over my lids. It's Valentine's Day time, so we're definitely gonna go with something sort of red and pink. So, and purple maybe. Oh dude, did I swatch these purples? I don't think I did, because they're so hard to swatch. Like, getting your finger in there is really hard on those ones. There they are, or right there. How pretty are they? So we are totally doing like a red, pink, purpley look. I'm gonna have to use this red here because the other ones are shimmers. There are quite a lot of shimmers in there. So I was going through Instagram today and Wayne Goss had a thing on Instagram that if you're a nice person and you do YouTube, he's going to start giving back by featuring small YouTubers or smaller YouTubers or not even smaller YouTubers, he said it didn't matter. So if you're a big YouTuber and love him, it's all good. He's going to be featuring people on his channel. I don't quite know how he's going to do that, but oh my gosh. I love him anyways, and that just made me love him more. He is just the most genuine guy ever. I'm just gonna pick up this purple over here. It looks kind of matte. I hope it's a matte. I'm just sort of doing my outer corner and coming in a little bit with that. Gosh, this is such a pretty shade. I am having a little bit of trouble getting that shade to build up quite as well as the red did. I mean, it's definitely there, don't get me wrong. Oh, and yeah, doing it this way with a packing brush and then blending it, definitely the way to go. So I got some MAC Fix Plus and flat brush. Um, I think this is supposed to be a concealer brush. Yep, it says concealer right on it. I'm going to use this purple here and that pink there. We're just gonna start with the purple. Again, these are kind of hard to pick up. Smaller brushes would be much easier. But wow, with that Mac Fix Plus, that goes on stunningly. And now I'm just picking up that shimmery pink and we're gonna bring that in a little bit. And how pretty is that? I am so impressed right now. You do gotta be careful. It is going on a little bit sheer. I don't have enough color on my brush. Uh, it does start to sheer out on me really badly. So just taking this initial brush that I use and it still has some on it. And I'm just bringing that around my outer corner. i pick up a little bit more. And then using my damp brush, I think I'm gonna use this bright, like reddish pink. Oh my God, how pretty is that? 
For the inner corner, obviously we have that white shade. Um, I am going to try just using it on my finger and see how that works at first because it does go on really thickly. And that is so pretty. And I'm just getting a really small pencil brush using some more MAC Fix Plus. I'm out of my NYX glitter glue, NYX glitter glue. How do you say that? Is it NYX? Is it NYX? I don't know. We're just patting that on that inner corner. I'm just going to take my finger and sort of, I'm just blending it out with my finger a little bit. So I'm just going to use my Hank and Henry eyeliner. This is in like blackish, I think. I have my Grand Mascara. Okay, so I'm just using my highlighter out of my Snow Girl palette. I love this highlighter. The packaging on this thing was terrible, but the highlighter that they put in here, called like Angel, called Angel Wings, oh my gosh, it is so pretty. So, I'm going to use some Oprah lipstick in this purple that sort of matches the purple on my lid. I decided this look needed lashes. Totally did. It looks amazing. Let us talk about this adorable palette who is my new best friend. Hello, Mr. Pinky Bear. Mr. Pinky Bear <laughs> he has a bow tie. Oh my gosh. Seriously, I love this thing. He's amazing. Look at this look. This palette is $15. And like I said, Makeup Revolution, for me, either total fail or totally knocks it out of the park. And this little guy knocks it out of the park in every single way. Look how cute it is. And then look at the look it did for 15 bucks. There are issues. Granted, these pans are annoying. I used most of the bigger pans. Uh, to get into these smaller ones, you really do need a much, much smaller brush. Um, I use this brush right here for this purple, and it works perfectly, no problem. Once it's on the brush, it performs just fine. However, they can be a bit sheer, so if you're like trying to go in and put it down and blend it out like I did the Norvina palette, it's just not going to perform like that. Um, it isn't that quality of shadow. It is a good quality of shadow. For 15 bucks, it's amazing quality of shadow because you can do this look. It takes a little more work, it takes a little more product, but it still does it, and it does it beautifully. I loved this red right here. Oh my gosh, it blended out so easy, and it went on so easy. That did not go on sheer at all. It was like so simple. And even, like you saw, I went back in with the brush, didn't even put any more product on it, just came around my eyes, perfect. No problem, didn't need any more color or anything. It just, it did a beautiful job. I didn't really notice a whole lot in the way of patchiness. I switched eyeshadow primers to this one by Tarte and I love this thing, like I swear to God, it's amazing. I stopped having the problems with my eyeshadows peel off my lid like I had. I even with a good primer, I'm still getting it like a good, I'd say time, maybe 15% of the time. Then I was watching uh, Robert Walsh. <laughs> his link will be below. And he said to use, on one of his videos, to use a clay-based primer. And that is a clay-based primer. And boy, he was right. Like, totally amazing results. Like, instant, beautiful canvas. It goes on beautifully. The one thing I did read in the reviews about this that is a problem is it can dry out because there is clay in here, so if you're not using it quickly, it can dry out. If you have problem eyelids like I do, annoying as hell, right? The areas that I was, like, had minor issues, like I said, was just getting those shimmers to go on as pigmented as I, you know, would like them, but a little Max Fix Plus, problem solved, and even high-end shadows, like, sometimes it's just how it is. And that's a new chart glow stick, and I love this little thing, little itty bitty one, for doing her eyebrows like that. It's a beautiful job, and it's so easy to use right there. This is my review of the Makeup Revolution Teddy Bear. Um, does he have a name? This is I Heart Revolution Toy Factory Shadow Palette, and I believe this one's name is Lulia. Lulu? Oh my gosh, Lulu is adorable. I still like Pinky Bear better. <laughs> 
<laughs> totally gonna keep calling him Pinky Bear. I love this. And I love the fact that it actually works because even if it hadn't have worked, it would have like went up on my display thing, but it does work. So yeah, all bets are off. I'm in love. Um, now I want more of them because I got that one just because I was like, oh my gosh, look at those bright shadows and how cute that is. <laughs>